Hello, so in the last episodes of um, Unreal Engine 5 learning tutorials, we've talked about the emissive color and uh, translucency, and we're still talking about the materials. If you have um, not watched the previous videos, you can find the last one in here somewhere. Um, so in this um, tutorial, we're going to be creating a fireball. Uh, it's going to be animated. It's going to be uh, animated even more if it uh, moves in the scene. Uh, so let's go ahead and do that. Um, we're gonna go ahead into the materials folder, right click. Oh, not, I don't want a Niagara. Hey, right click, create a new material, M underline, fireball. Um, okay. If you are a um, on Engine 4 user, you have another node, uh, another input here called tessellation. There's world position offset and tessellation in Unreal Engine 4. We don't have tessellation anymore in Unreal Engine 5. They're saying that instead of using tessellation, you can easily use Nanite and it will be more performant. But anyway, so um, in this tutorial, we want something, uh, uh, we want a fireball. Fireball is is gonna be using emissive color all the time so it doesn't really need to be lit so we just change it to unlit it will be more for performance so that's something good uh we're gonna right click noise and right click start previewing node okay so scale is too much i would say 0.01 would be good uh, and instead of simplex fast gradient is right now the most performant one so we're gonna go ahead and use that um, output main is we're gonna change this one as well you can play around and change all of this stuff here you can change all the settings I actually would strongly recommend you to uh, go around and play around with everything you see here. That would be like the best approach to learn new stuff. But anyway, um, we can change this to zero because this is the look that we want for a fireball. But instead, we want something with a higher quality. So we can um, add... Uh, one and then multiply that by 0.5 let's see how that looks okay so we have the same look as as if we have this one set to zero but it's a little bit uh, it has a little bit more quality into it um so we can hold m on your keyboard and left click this will be our um our world position offset intensity value or something like that then we want another multiply hold m on your keyboard and left click and then right click vertex normals based on world position okay so and we are going there let's change this to something like four stop this one from pre previewing uh, actually, let's hold three and change the color to something like red for now. Okay, we have a little bit of deformation on the object. So let's go ahead and probably do eight. Uh, it's a bit more. Uh, 16 would do 32. Oh, look at that. That's too much, I guess. 16. It's not bad, actually. It's not bad at all. Um, so, let's apply and save. Um, so, this is what we have right now. Let's... Uh, I want a sphere to my scene, and I want the fireball to be my material so as you can see the shading is not completely yet but the world position offset the deformation kind of works actually so let's go ahead and create our shade create our uh, color 
what we can do right now is um we can use this value and use a node called blackbody what blackbody does is that i mean uh, i'm gonna explain it later on a little bit more uh hit hold l on your keyboard and uh, use lerp for your blackbody and this will be our alpha uh it will be between uh zero and probably three thousand okay so you give blackbody a value and that value is a temperature and blackbody simulates the color of that temperature for you this is a very very useful node in this case we have a value between zero and one um actually yeah between zero and one this is the value zero and one we've changed it to zero later on and then if what lerp does actually i had uh, explained it uh, some episodes ago but anyway i'm gonna explain it later again um so this is between zero and one so if it is giving this a uh, node zero then it is zero if it's giving the node one then it is it's gonna be a uh, three thousand if there's something in between then it's gonna be in between these values and then uh this value is going to be our temperature which is then going to uh the black body node and then the black body node is simulating the color for us which is cool this is what we want look at that but it's not animated yet actually if it moves it is animated which is kind of cool okay um what we want it to be animated even more a little bit more probably i mean if you want something really really performant this is the way to go without anything else so now it's time to animate it um to animate it we can use the world position node and then um we can then use mask because you know world position has xyz uh we want the x and y to not be animated but then we want to animate the z value so how can we do that we can add it to a time but instead of just adding this to a time we can just then multiply it again then append vector so i mean i hope you remember this uh node it means that we have x y and we have z we've already separated them this node uh, makes them again together as a um, vector 3d and then that's gonna do the trick uh, it's moving but it's not that fast let's do something like four Oh, it's actually moving a little bit, maybe 20. Oh, too much. That's, that's actually so cool. Oh, look at that. It's already animated. And when you move it in the world as well, it's going to get even more animated but when the let me make this 20 i guess that would make more sense yeah that that's that's better and also i want to add another zero to it to see how it looks i guess that's too much oh look at that it, it's it brightens up the whole scene <laughs> that's too much okay maybe 5000 would do yeah 5000 is a good number it has a little bit of light into it thanks to lumen also it has some animations and that's pretty much what we want look at this okay 
um, I hope this video was helpful and it, if it was, if it did help you in any, any way, please hit that like button and if you have any questions, please tell me in the comment sections. Uh, I'd be more than happy if I could help uh, to you. Have a great day. Bye.